Hello all. Now, can you believe that this is the July project update? The months are just rolling by. Um, apologies, I didn't do a June one. Um, completely my fault. I think I got a bit distracted by going off on holiday, so apologies for that. But July was such a busy month. I have done so much. Um, but before I talk about what I've made, let me show you something I've had made, which is this, which is West Yorkshire Spinners Exquisite. Um, out of the book. I, like I say, I haven't knitted this. This has been knitted by the wonderful Rosie, who is the most beautiful knitter. And it feels amazing. I keep going up to everybody in the shop saying, feel it, feel it, feel it. So really, really pleased with this. But like I said, this isn't something that I've made. However, in front of me is everything I have been doing. So I'll show you a couple of finished things. I did finish a few things off. Now this is the faded line shawl. Um, I'm sure some of you are looking at this and thinking, but she finished that ages ago. And you are right, I did. But for some reason, I didn't sew the end in and I didn't block it. So I found this at the weekend and thought, you know what? I need to get that finished. So this is the faded lines, which is such... A, this was probably one of our most popular make-alongs. Um, and I really like this. It feels... The yarn used is beautiful. It feels really, really nice. And really important that when you're going to wear something around your neck. Um, so yeah, this is the faded lines. Now I've got it caught on something at the back, but there you go. No, I can't get it off. I'm stuck. <laughs> so that's your faded line shawl. There you go. Finished. I love it when I finish something. Now, I this has been on so many monthly blog posts. Apologies, but it's finished. It's the Sirdar Stories Hoodstock hoodie. I say it's finished. I've just seen an end there when I held it up that I need to go back through. So this has been on my hook for such a long time. We did it as a make-along. I think the make-along may even have started in April. I can't remember it started in April or May. Loads of you have finished everything before me. We did a festival make-along where we did all the garments for Sirdar Stories. And this was my favourite. I have no excuse as to why it took me so long. I think I just kept getting distracted by everything else here. But it's done, I've worn it, you can see it on Instagram, etc. And I think it is going to be a real summer favourite. Um, it reminds me an awful lot of a hoodie I had when the girls were really little. So perfect for throwing on the beach at night, etc. So that's my Hoodstock hoodie, finished. Will say the story's DK, such a gorgeous yarn to use and such a great price as well. Oh, I've got three finished things. I have this cowl which is a Stylecraft Colour Twist DK, which is a new Stylecraft launch. Um, each ball has a pattern on the ball band, and this is the cowl pattern on the ball band. I took this with me. I did um, a very, very quick trip to Portugal at the beginning of July. I took my eldest daughter and her best friend out there to stay at my parents for a while. I was only there two days, and I knitted this on the plane there, on the plane back. Um, and it was such a quick, easy knit. A really, really simple basket weave cowl. And um, I say that's free on every pattern. So there you go. That's, well, three finished things in one month. Go me. Um, what I'm going to, oh, next, I'm going to show you my terrazzo blanket. This is made from one of the Shapiers terrazzo boxes. Um, I have, and lots of you keep asking me for the pattern for this. I haven't actually written the pattern out yet, but we are going to be doing a little YouTube video showing you what I've done. And this is it so far. And I love, love, love this. Um, it's such an easy knit. The yarn is beautiful. It feels really nice and soft. The colours are gorgeous. So uh, that's the Terrazzo Blanket. I've still got quite a bit of knitting to do on this one. Um, I did just say to Amy that I might finish that in the next couple of weeks. And then I'm looking thinking, maybe I won't. Um, so that is the Tarazzo blanket. Sorry, I think I keep chopping my head off as well. Amy's trying to keep up because I keep bobbing up and down, so apologies for that. Now, I have just been to Portugal for a family holiday with Matt and the girls, and this was my holiday project, which was an unusual project to take for a summer holiday because it is mohair. But I'd started doing it before, and I really, really like it. This is the Shapers Sorbet Sweater. Um, and Amy's been taking photos of these today. She came back in my office and it feels really lovely. This is made using a strand of Shapey's Whirl and a strand of Shapey's Mohair Rhythm. And this is it so far. It's super, super easy. It is um, a really easy stitch pattern. 
Um, you do the rib, you pick up, you do, do a DC then all around the board of the rib and then you knit upwards um, and I'm enjoying this a lot. So like I say, it was a really simple project to take on holiday. Um, not one that I was going to do by the pool, um, but nice to do it indoors at night time. So I'm hoping that's going to be finished in the next few weeks. Here's me making all these promises. You use a whirl. Do you think I use sea breeze tees? Is that sea breeze tees? Sea breeze tees. I've got a whirlette and then you're using the mohair rhythm as well. There are some other suggestions in the middle of this for some other colourways as well. So that's worth a look at if you buy the pattern. So that's the sorbet. Now, Stylecraft Recreate. I started this ages ago. There is only one needle in here, if you're wondering, Amy did come into before, so you do know you've only one needle in that bag. Um, I think the other one's in my car. So, let me show you this pattern. This is the one, I'm doing the round neck tank top. Now, I took this away to knit on the plane and decided I would just cheat and just do the back plane, which is great in theory, but I didn't actually think on and take any stitches away for the cable pattern because the cable pattern at the front goes down the back as well. So I didn't reduce my stitch count. It seemed like it might have been a bit silly because this is gonna be really big. So what my plans are is to knit the front with the cable panel going up, put it against the back, see how much bigger the back is, and if it's not manageable, and as you know, I do quite like to fudge things because I think when you're wearing something, people don't notice. If it's too big, then I will undo the back and re the back and call myself a complete nut and numpty. Uh, but there you go, that Starcraft Recreate. This is a really, I haven't used this yarn before and it, it knits up beautifully. Feels really, really nice, so I'm pleased with that one. So that's the Starcraft Recreate. Now, oh, finally, I, <laughs> I've just spilt my tea everywhere. <laughs> Okay, I'm back, disaster averted. And you sprinted to the kitchen, we've got some kitchen roll. It's only gone on my pattern, thankfully. But I'm back, I'm not spilling my tea now. Over at my doctor's bag. I will say that my hoodie hood stock was in this doctor's bag and I took great delight when I'd finished it, taking everything out and putting a new project in. This is my favorite project bag. Dun, dun, dun. Now, this is the Eve sweater from, let me get my pattern out. Show it you, it is from mode six. I get the big picture and this is it. This is what I'm making. I've changed the colors into navy and sort of a camely color. Oh, this is so lovely to knit. I haven't used Kid Silk Haze for ages and I'd forgotten how nice Kid Silk Haze is to knit with. It's gorgeous. Um, you look at it, you think it's really fine, it's going to be difficult to knit, but it just isn't. And it's working really well with a summer light DK. I like the colours, I like, I like knitting stripes because with stripes you always just want to get to the end of that stripe so it feels like it goes on quite quickly. It is on 3mm needles so it is going to take a while to make. Um, but yeah, I'm, I love the way the Kid Silk Haze worked with the summer light. When you look at them both, you do think there is no way in the world you can knit them two next to each other, and it works. Um, so yeah, really, really, really enjoying this, and I think this is going to be a great autumn winter wear. Now, the reason I don't do these videos on my own is that I forget things. And Amy was, the, you, you saw me looking quizzical a minute ago, that's because Amy was gesticulating behind, uh, behind the camera, I wasn't sure what she was saying. There was, Last time I was talking about this, uh, this has been a really complicated pattern to get to the bottom of. Not because it's complicated to make, but because there was some errata published, the errata wasn't right, and it took me hours with Rowan to get to the bottom of what actually you do on this pattern. Um, on this pattern, apart from the rib, which curls up, you use the rib, you use Kid Silk Haze double. It transpires that you do not use Kid Silk Haze Double anywhere else in this sweater. We were initially told that the pattern was wrong and you did. There was some errata published that told you not to break the yarn. Now you do break the yarn and once you've done this bottom bit, the rest of this Kid Silk Haze is knitted singularly. So there you go. And that is a wrap.
for July projects. <laughs>